All right, so now deal with more of these guide questions. The statement reads, consider a rectangular waveguide with dimensions 2.28 centimeters by 1.01 centimeters. What TE modes will propagate in this waveguide? If the driving frequency is 1.07 times 10 to the 10 hertz, suppose you want it to excite only one TE mode, what range of frequencies could you use? What are the corresponding wavelengths in open space? All right, uh, this is going to be more of a numeric question, but we'll have to check a lot of different things. Let's start with what we need to know. The frequency and wavelength. Nu is equal to omega over 2 pi, and lambda is equal to c over nu. The angular frequency modes, omega mn, is equal to c pi square root m over a squared plus n over b squared, a and b being the dimensions, and m and n being the modes. All right, so to start, we need to note that the driving frequency needs to be greater than the cutoff frequency for a particular mode. So we first have to find what modes are able to exist based on this cutoff criteria. So first off, uh, let's just pick the first random one at uh, mode one zero. So we get nu one zero is equal to omega one zero over two pi is equal to, well, plug in everything we need to know for uh, omega one zero from the square root. And we see that we get c pi over a since, uh, well, m is one, and then we have uh, n equals zero. So we get one over a squared and the square root. And that just gives us one over a, so we get c pi over a. And that cancels with the pi from the two pi. And then we just, you know, plug in our values. c is equal to the speed of light. Two was from two pi, and a is the dimension. So that's 2.2 times 10 to the negative two centimeters, or convert that to meters, rather. And we see that that's equal to uh, negative, or not negative, 0 0.658 times 10 to the 10 hertz. Notice that our driving frequency is at 1.7, so we're good to go. So this is a viable mode. Next, let's test m equal 2, n equal 1. And if we do that, we see that uh, omega comes out to 2 pi c over a. Uh, again, the 2 pi is canceled. Good to go there. And we're left with c over a, and this is equal to 1.32 times 10 to the 10 hertz another viable mode. Now let's test it for m equal three and n equal zero. We see that that's equal to three pi c over a for omega. Uh, and then the pi's cancel, so we're left with three c over two a, which is 1.97 times 10 to the 10 hertz. Uh, notice that this mode uh, creates a frequency higher than the driving frequency, so we cannot use it. Okay, so now we need to test the other dimension. Let's try m equal zero and n equal one. So omega at zero one, uh, we see that this gives us n or pi c over b, cancel through, and we get uh, 1.4 times 10, or 1.49 times 10 to the 10. That's less than the driving frequency, so we're good. Uh, zero, uh, omega zero two, uh, that's once it's simplified down, that's equal to 2.97 times 10 to the 10. That's higher than the uh, driving frequency, so we cannot use it. Um, so now we need to try the mix coordinates. Uh, so first mix would be one, one, uh, zero, zero would not work since uh, we're not interested in that trivial case, I suppose. Um, but I, I suppose you could put it there, but that would just be zero and not anything useful. So uh, one, one gives us, uh, as you see, a C pi uh, square root one over a squared plus one over B squared, uh, you know, divide the two pi to get new and we see that the pi's cancel and uh once everything is you know computed we see that we have 1.62 times 10 to the 10 and it we saw that if we go to zero two that's over that's going to be too big uh of a frequency so one two won't work and we saw that since this is really close to the driving frequency a quick check will show that two one can't work either so just four modes can occur, a 1, 0, a 2, 0, a 0, 1, and a 1, 1. All right, so to get only one mode, we must drive the waveguide at a frequency between 0, or uh, V naught, or excuse me, nu 1, 0, and nu 2, 0, since 0, nu 0, 1, nu 0, 2, and nu 1, 1 were all larger than nu 2, 0. Okay, so let's go back and look. Nu 2, 0 was uh, 1.32. And we had new one zero, which was uh, 0.658. And then like that, all the numbers show that we have 1.49 and uh, 1.62. So yeah, all of them are greater. 
So we must drive the wave guided frequency between the two in order to find uh, a range, so to speak. So uh, with that, we have a range of frequency between uh, 0.658 and 1.32 times 10 to the 10 hertz. Um, yeah, so only one mode, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, and then the wavelengths follow fairly quickly, just lambda one zero, just plug it all in, let them cancel, you get two A, and two zero, you get uh, A. So we see that um, lambda is between A and two A, so 2.28 centimeters and 2.56 centimeters. I don't think that's right, I think I mistyped that one. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, you see we get something pretty hefty. Yeah, I definitely mistyped that. Uh, that should be, what, four, four, 4.56, yeah, 4.56. Uh, but yeah, not too bad. Good reasoning. Always check your modes and apparently your typos.